Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new. My name is Sadie and today I'm doing a tutorial using the Blue Blood Palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Um, this was mainly inspired because I have all of the lip bundles and um, I asked quite a few of you what you'd like me to do. Would you like a separate video, um, a video with cohesive looks using the palette? So a lot of people have requested both but a lot of people have actually asked for dedicated videos. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm still going to do a dedicated video towards these but I'm still going to use the palette but I'm going to use them more of an uh, in a natural look i think these sort of videos i'm going all out with the colors but like say next time i'm going to use the more natural shades in the palette and then focus on the swatches so yeah in the middle of this video i'm also going to be swatching all of these eight shades oh jawbreakers out sorry um so yeah if you like to down this look then keep on watching before we start this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel it will help me out a lot join the family uh join the jsc family i mean your girls on this PR. I'm going to keep on about this because obviously if you case you're a new viewer, I am on Jeffree Star Cosmetics PR. So if you were interested in my looks and when he brings out new products, you know a video is going to come out and I will give you my honest feedback. Okay, let's get into the video. All right, disclaimer before you start this video, do not do your base. Blue eyeshadow goes absolutely everywhere. This was even all on my forehead and I had no idea until I wiped it and it was just pure blue. Um, so yeah, word of warning, do not, do not do your base. Do your eyes first. Um, it's a process, especially the way I do it because I don't always tap off pigment and blah, blah, blah. So it does go everywhere. I've got dandruff in my hair, lovely. So um, yeah, yeah. Do you like my brows today? Okay, so I've got my eyes primed with P. Louise, just because I'm using it up. I've got another one. Um, I feel like I say this in every video, I still don't know how I feel about it. So, And I've got it primed all underneath as well. I think I might use a separate primer for underneath because I just feel like nothing grips uh, P. Louise wise underneath my eyes. But we'll get one. Well, oh, we'll discuss that another day. Another day, another time. All right, let's get on with the video. So I'm going to take a cheap four line brush, but obviously as you can see, it's just a flat shade brush. And the first shade I'm going to take is Undertaker, which it isn't focusing on, but it's the dark blue. So basically I'm going to pop it all from my crease, like in a circle and underneath. So it literally goes like a circle around my eyes. Alright, then I took a Morphe S12 and I took the shade, is it Blue Monday? Yeah, this palette's a bit of a mess, I apologise. That The whole problem with blue is that blue gets absolutely everywhere. I don't know why more than other palettes, but you will have it like all around your chin area. It's horrendous. So I'm basically just going to stamp that on like the very edge of that Undertaker shade. Jesus Christ, will you stop doing that? <sighs> Thank you. Dude, honestly. Where you going? moron <laughs> or did you <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can't do anything now because the noise you absolute bellend <laughs> dickhead okay I know it looks crazy I know it looks crazy 
But then, what did I do? What brush did I use? Can't remember, where is it? I then took a Spectrum B11, which is a nice small domed crease brush, and I took the shade Blue Blood, which is this one. And I basically, now I started to blend out that Blue Monday shade with it. But it's still sort of like stamping it on there. Because the color I'm really gonna blend out with is the last one. I love how mental my looks always look until like the very last minute. But then I took a Zoeva Luxe Define Crease Brush, which is a really, really nice fluffy brush. And I took the shade I'm Cold, which is this one. And this is where I start to really blend it out, but no panic. It's not the perfect blend out, but it is because I go back in with all the colors again and that's where I really finesse it. So I'm gonna blend that out just very, very lightly. So I'm basically just going to redo all those steps and I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm happy with that. Um, I'm then going to take a Morphe R41 and I'm going to take the shade, oh my god, Cullinan, which is the lovely what? And I'm going to put that on my brow bone and my inner corner. Alright, so for my lid, I'm going to take NYX Glitter Glue, um, I'm just going to chuck that on. Honestly, my camera is on a box and on three mirror boxes, and the Shane Dawson Pig one's on the top, the iridescent, and it's absolutely covered in makeup because I just chuck stuff on it. So I've put glitter glue on that, um, and I'm taking a Morphe S28, which is like this really, really flat brush, and I'm basically going to pop that all over my lid. Not too careful with it. And I'm also going to pop some, sorry I hit my microphone then, underneath my eye as well. And then I literally just took my finger and I went into Ocean Ice, which is this one. And I basically put it all over my lid where I put the glitter glue. With Ocean Ice you definitely need a really, really stickier base. Um, I've played with it before and I just don't feel like it does anything just by itself on a normal base that's why I suggest a glitter glue with this one because well as you can see it gets everywhere for one anyway it's a beautiful shade but it does go absolutely everywhere and actually when it's been on my finger it's actually stained it pink so I can't wait because I'm in work tonight for four nights straight and I'm gonna have pink eyelids so that'll be fun See, I'll show you now. If I wipe this, it's gone a little bit punk. And I put some underneath my eye as well, and I couldn't tell you what brush I used. This is like, like a cheap Morphe one. Yeah, that's the one I used. And I popped some of that on. For the waterline, I did wet it. So what I basically do first is chuck some on the brush, then I spray it. And I don't know where my certain spray's gone. And then I'll sort of just put it onto my hand mix it a bit and then pop it underneath all right so i just then took a big fluffy brush that's got my eye and tried to sweep away as much as i could around it like you will have to go in with a wipe you know it's constantly there and i basically just went back over with the more dark shade the undertaker in and around that ocean eye shade just so blend a little bit better. If I'm never not happy with this bit by here, I'll sort of get rid of some and I'll go back in with a base and just go back over a few colours. But 
yeah that's basically the eye look um i'm gonna quickly finish this and i'll be back for the waterline i actually took jawbreaker and i just popped it there with just a standard eye or lip brush and i just popped it in my waterline So what I'm basically going to do is pop some eyeliner on, pop some mascara on and I'm also, my lashes are the style Boo from the brand House of Boo, kindly gifted me these, um, they're £5, I linked them in my last video, I'll link them down below as well but I really really like these lashes, um, very very nice and I thought I'd go well with it, so yeah I'm going to pop those on. I'm going to do my base and I'll be right back to do lip swatches. Okay, so the first shade is Drug Lord. Um, I've always wanted Drug Lord. Um, I actually use this, if you have it on Instagram, for the blood sugar skull recreation. I use this for the teeth. Um, so yeah, I'll see this is a pure white. <laughs> this is going to look so crazy. Now I look like an Oompa Loompa. Obviously, it's a white, it's patchy. I think you could probably finesse it, but I think oh, a lot of people obviously use them for more detail eye look. Like, I can't wait to like use this in my waterline and stuff like that. So, yeah, because I'm not going to go into too much detail with the liquid lipsticks, more just showing you what they actually look like in this video. Okay, so the next shade is Ice Tray. Um, really excited for this one. He also has the shade in the Bluebird palette, which I was going to use today, but I didn't. But Oh well. Hold on, I think I need to shake that one up a little bit. Oh god, I think this is really dry in my... Oh my god, yeah, it's literally got nothing coming out on it. Well... Mm. I might email Beautylish. Um, I might email Beautylish over that because literally nothing is like coming out on uh, the brush. Yeah, this is like dried up. It literally feels like nothing is in there. Damn it. It would have been a nice colour as well, which is such a shame. Obviously, this is a really shit swatch, but I honestly can't get anything out of that. Um, but actually, it goes so well with the look, which is such a shame. I don't care if I still have blue. Um, next shade is Jawbreaker, which is what we used in the waterline. I'm really excited for this one. I have always wanted this colour. Um, I'm in love. I adore this colour. I would totally wear this by itself with a more natural look. Oh my god, I love it. And also while I'm here, what I really wanted to try is this bad boy on top of it. So obviously this is what it looks like with it. I'm going to use the Supreme Cross in Blue Balls, which is what instantly I thought of when I bought it was Jawbreaker. Oh my god, I love it. That's so pretty. That's 100% what they've done on that photo shoot because blue balls did not look like this by itself. Oh my god, I love it. Love, love, love it. Okay, next shade is blue velvet, which I think is going to go really, really nice with this look. Oh my god, I love it. Um, definitely a two coater. I'm not really focusing on making it absolutely perfect in this video, but it goes so well with the look. Love it. Just ignore that I have blue everywhere over my lips. I'm going to take the shade Abuse. This one I'm really excited for as well. Oh wow. Oh my god, I love this. Oh 
I mean, oh, really good coverage, one coat. If you just finessed it a little bit more, it'd come out much better. But yeah, that's what Aviv's looks like. Really, really nice. Sorry, I wasn't recording. Next shade is Diamond. And oh my god, I'm obsessed with this. That is a stunning periwinkle cover, absolutely beautiful. This was a shade I am most excited for because it's going to go so well with Ocean Ice and this is Titanic. Please don't be dried up, please don't be dried up, please don't be dried up, please don't be dried up. Needs a good shake. I think we're okay. Oh my fucking god. Okay, this is one you definitely have to finesse with and play with a little bit more, give it a few extra coats, but oh my god, the glitteriness in this, it goes so well with ocean ice. This, I can't wait to use this with just like a, a really nice nude natural eye with black eyeliner. I think it looks look fucking sick. Okay, the next shade is Medusa, ignore the blue, I'm rushing, I have got long enough to go and put the lip one up. I always give myself loads of time and then I end up piss off about doing these videos. Oh yeah. Okay, that was one dip. That is such a cool toned grey blue. Mmm. I mean, it hasn't dried yet, so just bear with it. But um, yeah, absolutely love that. Mm. So there's all the colours. So there we have it, guys. Here's the finished look. Um, ignore the hair. It's really, really greasy. Um, it's not been straightened. I, it's literally the first time I brushed it in the most couple of days. So um, the lippy I have on is mannequin. Um, I just thought when I start and finish my um, filming with stuff like this I normally just do a nude because I like to take a picture with the nude so people see what it looks like with the nude and with the lip bundles so yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video I absolutely love blue blood blue blood is one of my absolute favorite palettes I'm pretty sure I say that on everyone but yeah this is definitely like in my top five palettes as we all know if you know me on my channel I fucking love the color blue um, and I absolutely love and um, these lashes are really really nice and big and fluffy as well um, Oh God, Ocean Eyes just looks so fucking pretty. And Jawbreaker in the waterline. Mm. I've always wanted Jawbreaker, so I'm really excited to try it. So before we go, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It'll help me out a lot. I do loads of Jeffree Star reviews. I'm also on Jeffree Star's PR. Sorry to everyone who already knows it, but there might be new people watching. Most of my channel will include lots of his um, palettes, lipsticks, you name it. You know, you know what to do. Also, don't forget, I'm also doing a blood sugar giveaway. I'll link it up here for you to enter. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.